Welcome back to this channel Swiss RC and today this is part two of the two part series of setting up this QAV 540 with the brushless gimbal and today I'm gonna show you how you program your Alexmos board which is right here to control your brushless gimbal in order to get very clean and steady shots with your copter very easily so what you will need is your copter with your Alexmos board and all the motors soldered on and stuff like that and you need your LiPo battery which you're gonna power the gimbal with I use a 4 cell we're gonna use your transmitter in case you do it as I do it um, directly on the copter powering through the main flight battery you need a mini USB which is plugged in to the Alexmos board to USB port as well as a PC. So let's get started. Here you see the Basecam Electronics uh, website which is uh, the original um, Alexmos website actually and right here uh, we're in the downloads tab so we're gonna have to download the latest version which is version 2.40 B7 we're gonna download the firmware as well as the GUI later to program it I've already done that, here you can see those two files and I'm gonna right click this one and say extract here okay and you have a folder where we can delete this one actually so then we're gonna open up this folder and run the simple BGC GUI just double click it <coughs> and there you have it so now we have to power on our system, so I'm going to turn on the transmitter first, then plug the USB cable in, and plug the LiPo battery into the copter or your gimbal, like that, and you're going to see the gimbal should actually try to stabilize itself, just like that. Now we're going to have to connect it here on the PC, so in the, in the top left corner we're going to hit connection, select COM port, whichever it is on yours, on mine it's number 6, hit connect, then we're going to get an error, GUI vs board version mismatch, so um, we're going to update the firmware, and to do that um, we're going to run a program called EEPE, which you're also going to have to download. Run this program, go to settings, choose Arduino, M328P, and your COM port, and mine it's COM6. Hit OK, then go to this uh, little transmitter with the burning sign, which says flash firmware, and then search for firmware, which is 2. 0.40 B7, double click it, yes, and just let it run down and install the firmware. It's gonna take probably not even a minute. <coughs> so, okay, we're gonna ignore this, close all of this, go into the folder again, run the simple BGC GUI again, yes. hit COM port number 6 or the one it is on your PC and hit connect. There you go, now we have it connected. So for those of you who still don't want to program it themselves who just want a, a solid video link from the beginning or a solid uh, video setting from the beginning they can also go to the swissrcworld.chimdo.com website to the downloads and there we're going to find the Alexmos brushless gimbal GoPro Hero 3 with a 22 pitch millimeter motor a 22 millimeter pitch motor I'm sorry as well as a 35 millimeter roll motor you can download this preset get it from the downloads move it to your desktop or somewhere else then just 
then just open the GUI, go to load profile, and there you have it. Open, click right. As you can see, the gimbal is freaking out a little bit, but it's gonna um, center itself. Just wait for that to happen. There we go. And now you can move the gimbal and you have a stabilized image. Now for those of you who want to know what these PID and so on what this means um, the P gain uh, a high number in P gives the motor a lot of force to react to counteract um, forces from the outside so if I move it and you have not enough um, P gain the motor is not going to get enough power to um, to counteract the tilting. So, but also what happens? I'm going to show you what happens when the pitch is too high. I'm going to ride it, and I don't know if you can see that, but the pitch is now oscillating very weird. So I'm going to set this down back again quickly. You can also touch the gimbal just in order to feel what it does. Right now it doesn't oscillate anymore. Um, so the eye gain is actually only um, the speed in which um, the RC input uh, steers the gimbal. So here on the slider I can move the gimbal down. A higher eye gain means it goes faster and the lower means it goes slower and I have it set to 0 0.02 for the pitch which gives me a really soft and really slow movement also what you're gonna do is um, assign power to the motors if the motors do not have enough power I'm gonna show you what happens with the pitch I'm gonna set the power to very low So can see sometimes it's still going to um, counteract it but it's not gonna have enough force to do it when there is a very quick movement look at that you see the GoPro just kicks around so yeah I have those two set to 80 something I think it was 81 on this click right and that's pretty much it the last last thing you're gonna notice is the D gain. The D gain is only important to you if you have um, vibrations on your gimbal, which you actually don't want. So um, a higher D gain somehow counteracts the, um, the oscillations from vibrations of your copter by just um, increasing your reaction time and on, on the QAV uh, where we have this these orange rubber bobbins to um, absorb most of the vibrations uh, the D gain is not really necessary so you can actually leave this how it is then we're gonna go over to advanced here are some um, some options which you might not understand I just uh, checked um, uh, the accel accelerations compensation, but you do not want those, so I'm gonna uncheck them. Click right, the gimbal's gonna freak out. Then RC settings, uh, here you can um, add your um, control. I just, I don't know if you can see that on camera right here. No, not really. I just soldered um, an extension cable directly to the board and uh, you can choose between PVM, analog, and just vir virtual channels, both for the pitch or um, roll. I only uh, tilt the pitch because um, you don't want a video which is um, sideways. Down here, RC control, you can determine the angle. On the pitch, I have it set to angle mode. What this means is when I have the slider in the top position the gimbal is gonna be in the top position when I put it down 
all the way, the gimbal's gonna point all the way down. And if I put this one in the middle, it's gonna go to about 45 degrees. This is angle mode. And what happens when I put in speed mode, let me just write that really quickly. I can put it down, and the gimbal moves as fast as as far as I put it down. So if you put it down further, it's gonna move faster, and it's not gonna stop until it hits the cable. So in the middle, when uh, when your slider is in the middle position, the gimbal is gonna be still. If it's in the up position, it's gonna turn up as far as it can go, or to the maximum you can set right here. and you can also turn it really slowly but um, for me it's actually easier to put it in uh, angle mode uh, if you're flying alone with this slider and that's why I have it set like that on the preset as well also you can once more um, uh, put the speed mode and uh, speed in here and that's pretty much it so now that we have set all the gains and just program uh, the gimbal, we're gonna close the program, unplug it, pull the USB out of the Alexmos board, and we're gonna take the copter into our hands, and we're gonna see if everything is working the way we want it to, by just moving it around a little bit, and this seems to work pretty well. Also, uh, put your finger on top of the gimbal to see if there are any vibrations when moving. And I cannot feel any of them right now. So, the next thing, which is quite important, is going to be test flying. So, let's get out to the field. <laughs> 